Welcome to HP Tuner's GM Gen 4 training part 39. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our EQ ratio and our EQ ratio error setup within our VCM scanner software. We're going to find that the EQ ratio is going to be corresponding to our units of lambda registration from a wideband or a primary O2s. We'll find that when we're working in units of lambda, we don't need to keep track of what kind of air fuel scale we're working with for the gas type that we're on. So if we're working with a flex fuel amount, so if it's 50% flex blend or 85% flex blend or 20% flex blend, we'll find that our air fuel command channel with our VCM scanner is going to give us an odd scaling value that we can't really work with. Also, if we're doubling our stoichiometric table to be able to get around a injector flow rate scaling limitation in the PCM that we're in, we're also going to find that our air fuel commandant reported value in our VCM scanner is going to be off. So what we're going to find is that we can get around this by working with our units of EQ ratio and EQ ratio error being the channel that's calculated from our units of lambda or EQ ratio. I'm gonna show you how to set this up in our scanner and then how to implement this into your histograms so you can start to work with this and tune this and not have to worry about what your air fuel command channel is going to be doing. We're gonna have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with something called our EQ ratio within our HP Tuner's VCM editor and VCM scanner. Now, our EQ ratio is gonna essentially be our lambda. If you're unfamiliar with what lambda represents, every wideband actually reads in lambda, and actually every oxygen sensor reads in units of lambda. 1.0 lambda is stoichiometric for any type of fuel that we're using. So whether it's gonna be uh, petrol-based fuel, alcohol fuel, so ethanol or methanol, or propane fuel, we'll find that 1.0 lambda is stoichiometric on that specific fuel type or fuel blend that we're working with. What this is going to allow us to do is not have to know the individual stoichiometric ratios for the various fuel types that we're working with. So for example, if we're talking about a petrol-based fuel, that's gonna be 14.7 to one. But if we're on 10% blended uh, petrol fuel, so we have 10% ethanol in our fuel, that's gonna be 14.1 to one. Or if we're working with something like E85, that's gonna be approximately 9.7 to one air fuel, uh, stoichiometric. And then we'll find if we're on pure ethanol, that's gonna be something like nine to one. Um, if we're working with um, methanol, that's gonna be much, much richer uh, is stoichiometric air fuel. So what we'll find is as we're going through these different various blends of ethanol or different fuel types, we're gonna constantly have to know what that stoich point is related to that fuel and then being able to work within that fuel uh, ratio or the fuel stoich point um, to the different fuel ratios within that particular scale. That's extremely confusing. So working in our EQ ratio or lambda amount is gonna be simplifying it and generalizing any type of fuel that we're working with, any type of fuel blend that we're working with, and makes our lives much simpler. So within the training course, I've talked about doing our injector rescale where we double our, double our stoich value table. Let's pull it up here on screen here. Let's go to engine. So we find that we have a limitation usually on the E40 uh, PCMs. We're gonna find here in our flow table, and that this file here isn't an E40 PCM file, but for example, if we're looking at our flow rate table, we're gonna find on those E40s that we can only scale it to 63.5 pound per hour injector size. So obviously if we're running a thousand cc injector or hundred pound injector, we're gonna have some issues there. So in order to get around that, we can go here to our stoich table. We can grab our values here. We can double our stoich values, then it'll allow us to go here and cut our injector flow rate in half, along with going in and updating our IVT table and our fuel density table. So there's a process to go about doing all that. We went over that and I, you should understand what that represents and how to work with that. But the problem is going to be, if we double here, our stoich value, that's gonna be then reporting our commanded air fuel in our scanner as some odd amount that we're not gonna be knowing exactly how to work with. So if we take a look down here, if we jump into our scanner and I go here, let me just connect to the vehicle that I'm working with here. Um, let's move down here and we take a look. We have our PID channel, air fuel ratio commanded. Right now it's showing 10.73 commanded air fuel. So if I'm gonna crank over my engine, it's gonna give me a value here um, determining what my cranking air fuel is going to be. When I fire it off, this should go to approximately 14.7 to one because I'm on pedral fuel for this car. But if I was running some form of ethanol blend or if I doubled my storage value, we'll find that this value here wouldn't be 10.73. It might be something like uh, 21.2 or whatever it would be if I doubled the value. So if I just went here and I multiplied by two, that would be the equivalent if I went in here and I doubled my storage lookup table. So what that's going to do is have a odd reported commanded air fuel ratio here. And if we're comparing it against what our wideband showing us, it's not going to make sense. It's going to be off 
if we're taking a look at what our power enrichment air fuel command is going to be, it's never going to be what we think it's going to be. So thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.